Well, I don't know if you guys are feeling like me at the moment, but I have struggled a little bit over the, the winter period, like the Christmas and early New Year. I kind of lost my mojo a little bit. I mean, we didn't have uh, a great winter in terms of snow or any heavy frosts. Having said that, we have just come out of the last couple of weekends where we had some really heavy storms. We had a Storm Kira and Storm Dennis. So if you live on the coast uh, with some big rocks, uh, I'm, I'm sure you've got some great images there. I know that I've seen quite a lot of them. But where I live and where I travel to in Norfolk and Suffolk, the, the coastline's very sandy. So I couldn't really utilize the, uh, the storm for that kind of photography. But where I feel happiest is actually in the mountains. Um, Snowdonia and the Lake District I absolutely love, but Snowdonia is a lot more accessible for me. That's only a 400 mile round trip where the lakes are kind of close to 600. So Snowdonia is a lot easier for me to do over a weekend. And so I've come back here today, which is my first trip of 2020. And I'm so excited to be here. Um, now, I don't know if you, if you guys watch me, you've probably heard of Nick Livesey. Um, now, Nick doesn't have a, a huge YouTube channel, but he's got an amazing book out. And if you've not got Nick's book, then I would highly recommend it. He's an amazing photographer and his book is first class. But on his YouTube channel, what he does have is a video um, about mountain healing. And I'm not trying to put myself in the same category as Nick, but I kind of understand if it was very peaceful when he's up in the, up in the mountains. Um, and as I say, I feel the same. I feel that when I'm here, I just feel totally relaxed. Even with it lashing down of rain, I'm still so excited about getting out tomorrow. And I don't even have to be on the top of a mountain or halfway up a fell. I can be at a lake at the bottom, but then just kind of looking up at the mountains. And I think that if you're in a, an area that you really get inspired by, then there's a good chance that you're gonna put more effort in to get that photo. But for me, if I don't get a great image tomorrow, do you know what? I won't be disappointed because I would have got my fix of the mountains. I may even get a hike depending on the on the cloud cover. If not, I may be at a tarn tomorrow morning. And I just I just get really excited and I, 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 about being here. So I suppose that's a, a, my my thing really. If you guys have any of you have lost your mojo over the, the quite a miserable winter, I would I would head to somewhere that really inspires you. Because I know Snowdonia really inspires me. Well, considering how bad the weather was coming into Wales and last night with the motorhome rocking and torrential rain falling today is actually a beautiful day well I wouldn't say beautiful I won't go that far the wind is still quite strong but at least at the moment we don't have any rain heavy wind and rain is certainly not my favorite for hiking and taking images but basically we parked at Rid the car park, which is a car park I parked at before with Dave Griff, Mally Davis and James Burns uh, when we hiked Araran. And when you go up the original path or the start of the path, it then forks. And the left hand fork, which is the Rid the path, takes you all up to Snowdon. And that is the path that we're on at the moment. Now we've got no great ambitions on how high we want to get today. We're just going to stop when we feel that it's right to do so. And I've already taken a few images walking along this path. The light wasn't particularly great. 
was some definition in the cloud and I just thought why I've got the opportunity I might as well take it you never know what's going to move across in the next hour and from this quite moody sky it may even go very flat and grey and the low cloud might even come in so I thought I will take these shots even if they're no more than some record shots but from what I can see on the back of the camera I did like them now I don't know if I mentioned this earlier on in the video but I really want to do the Nantla Ridge um, and it is a ridge that I'm, I've postponed now and Dave and I are going to do this in the summer but the Nantla Ridge is directly behind me um, you can see it over there the way it, it comes up very aggressively on the right hand side that's a garn not to be confused with a garn in the Ogwin Valley and you can see the shape of the ridge there it's absolutely beautiful and now I can see it from this vantage point I can't wait to return in the summer to spend two days on the ridge with the tent in between well I hope you can hear me okay uh, we're nowhere near the summit of Snowdon where is it it's beyond that peak over there but it's such a nice viewpoint from here I don't think it's worth imaging because um, quite frankly I'm not going to get anything more from here than I possibly did down there if there was more light then I'd make I maybe give this a go but just behind here there is a Raran just there and that was just one of my favorite hikes an amazing hike that and if anybody wants to do that I'll put the link up to my my video um, so you can get an idea of the route but I'd highly recommend that that is so worth doing and as I said earlier looking over the the Nantla Ridge as well I think I might have said this earlier unless I cut this out of the video that you know the light here at the moment isn't great it's far from perfect but I just absolutely feel alive when I come to the mountains it's certainly not cold despite what it may look like um, but that strong wind just kind of blowing in my face looking at all these rolling mountains it really is a thing of beauty and I think as I might have said if you're if you've lost your mojo during the drab winter months just return to a place that really inspires you and I'm sure you'll uh, you'll get some great images well again it's a it's a shame we don't actually have any light uh, because the actual mountains itself there's no real definition in them but the cloud that was just rolling above the peaks looked really nice there was a very dark band or very dark grey cloud and I thought that was just worth imaging I've got no filters on here I've got no polarizer because that's just not needed um, and the histogram I've I've underexposed ever so slightly because um, I want to make sure I can pull everything back um, and get a, a fairly well balanced image and at the moment I'm not 100% sure what composition I, I like I don't know if I like it with Hebog in the centre of the frame that looks really nice because the cloud was very even across the top but I've also moved the camera left and right so the high peak is on either the left hand third or the right hand third so by having them three images I've got plenty to choose from when I get back to post We've gained a little bit more elevation here. Now, I don't know if you can see just here in the background. David, you might have to help me here. What's the name of this? Moil Alio. Moil, Moil Alio. Moil Alio. In fact, it looks pretty cool now with that big cloud. So I might even give this a go actually, but I've got my eye on this because I just think with some light over there, 
I just think that would look absolutely beautiful there. You've got them big steep cutoffs on the right hand side as you're looking at it. And I just think when you get some light and some shadow with that ridge line just snaking its way all the way to the summit, yeah, first class. Don't quite have that today, but now I'm looking at the camera and looking how dramatic that cloud is. I don't know, I may tuck my rucksack off and give this a go, or I may just leave it and push on. Well, I decided I would take an image of this and I put the 24 to 70 on and I just felt that I needed a little bit more reach. I think the 24 to 70 was okay because there was some darker clouds up quite high. So I needed to go that little bit wider just to get them dark clouds in. But I also like zooming in quite tight because even though there isn't, as I say, some great light, um, I think perhaps with a little bit of sneaky dodging and burning, uh, could kind of possibly try and bring this to life a little bit. And I'm just gonna quickly take this image now because there is uh, a small darker cloud that's just rolling above the top of the peak, which is something I didn't have a second ago. Yeah, just looking on the back of the camera, there isn't, um, there's nothing really too exciting above the top of the peak. But even so, I still like this ridge line. I do think that this is, this is really nice. And I do think that this could be worth revisiting one day when uh, the light is better. <clears throat> In terms of settings at the moment, I'm on about 135 mil and I'm on, I'm on one over 320 because obviously it is quite a long lens this and it does act as a sow and even though I'm on a, a, a tripod I want this to be sharp with this wind so I've opted for a, uh, a fast shutter speed here. Well, I hope you can, can hear me because I'm recording straight into the wind. And as you might have, or as you can see, it's incredibly windy up here now. They were saying we're at about 800 meters. So we're not too far from the summit. And I would be tempted to go to the top uh, if the wind wasn't so brutal, but we've met a few people on the way coming down and they've said it is serious up there. So for photography reasons, there's no point in going up. Now I'm gonna end the video here, but before I do, oh crikey, I honestly don't know if you can hear me, but I thought I'd take one more image and that was over um, Araran over there and Moyle Hebod, my pronunciation, Hebog. Again, there was not a great deal of light, um, but the clouds just looked really dramatic and really moody. So I thought this is worth giving this a go. And I've also done a pano here. I have no idea how well this is gonna stitch because at the time I just couldn't level my tripod. Um, I had to have the legs splayed out so much, but I'm on a slope. Um, so I think I might have to crop quite a lot of this image off, but even so, it was worth giving this a go. Now, I think as I've said on this video, today was really about getting the first hiking of 2020 and blowing off the cobwebs and uh, being out in the mountains. And even though the images today may not win any awards, um, but just by being out here has been absolutely fantastic. I've loved every minute of it great company as always with dave but um we're gonna finish off taking a, a few shots here and then we're gonna start making our way down and then probably end up at a nice warm pub or a cafe anyway i'm gonna say as i always do thank you ever so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed the video if you have then please consider subscribing and tapping that little notification bell but until my next video see ya